The next thing we are looking we are looking into will be the excess pressure inside of fluid drop. Say we have a fluid drop, a spherical fluid drop rather, this has a radius of say r naught, it is exposed to the atmosphere so the pressure outside is P atm. See the excess pressure inside this fluid drop is Pex. So the pressure at any point inside this fluid drop will be Patm times Pex. This comes from the fact what we just stated that is the excess pressure inside the fluid drop. The pressure outside is P atmosphere. Because there is an excess pressure inside the fluid drop, we have Patm plus P excess. Now this depends on the radius of the fluid drop. We will, we are just going to find out how is it going to depend on the radius. For the time being I am stating this. Let us consider this fluid drop on a magnified scale. Say this is that fluid drop. This is the center. Let me consider a thin ring at say some radius r. Saying that this is some radius will be wrong because the sphere is basically uniform from all sides, let this be R0, which is our initial radius of the sphere. What we are going to do is balance of forces on this thin ring. Because of the surface tension, there will be a force acting which will make this surface reduce its surface area. which will be in the downward direction or along the surface of this sphere. Now this will have two components. One component, let's say we are considering something like this, one component will be tangential or this, this force we are, uh, the fluid is applying is basically tangential. One of them will have a vertical component another component will be in the horizontal direction. Because you are considering a sphere and its surface, the surface tension force can act only along in the tangential spherical direction. Tangential spherical direction means if you look at the sphere from the top or any side, say this is what you are looking at, the force will, four forces will be something this sort. So they will be along the surface. So basically these will be resolved into two components, one will be in the vertical direction, one will be in the horizontal direction. Because this ring is a circle and it is symmetric, the forces which are resolved in the horizontal direction will cancel off. So if you consider all forces in the horizontal direction coming outwards, they will basically cancel off each other. So what we are remaining with is the vertical component of the surface tension force. This needs to be balanced with something. What is that something? Say we are again considering the sphere. 
the same ring again. This surface tension force needs to be balanced by the pressure exerting a force on this part of the sphere. So what pressure will do? Pressure will exert radially outward force on the fluid surface on, in all directions. Say this is a sphere section, the pressure will exert force in all the directions like this. So this will again have two components. One of the components will be in this direction, another component will be in the vertical direction. The component which will be in the vertical direction will balance of the vertical component of the surface tension force. So the vertical component of the pressure force, basically the excess pressure will be balancing of the force due to the surface tension. 